Greetings, my fighter friends. Ben Pearson, the Roadster Tracker, and start this one again. I had a little tiny oopsie last time. Anyways, we are back with Factorio Nolius Maximus, and I'm gonna delete these rocks. Uh, I just let everything build, and I think we are good to go. Got stuff from the building train if needed. You know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Then the water is going to make it to about here. We'll deal with the water later, but let's just connect up the steam pipes. No way. That's actually pretty amazing that we did it that perfectly, that every one of these lines up with a steam. I did not think it would be this tileable. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect all of these guys up together. So they can share their steam. This is fine. Then... Hmm. We need to put all of these out. Okay. We do need to deal with the water problem. So all of these need to be connected up. Um, let's just do a water bus here. That's what we should have done in the first place. Um, we should have more than one point. At this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and send you back home. figure out what this looks like. And I'm gonna actually delete these other ones. We should have done this right from the first place. Yeah. So you're connected like this. I'm actually gonna go to here. Uh, no. We want these separate. And then I'm going to pump in here. And this will be our pattern. Yeah, this is fine pattern. Good. Getting better at the placement. And then this last one. Oh. Pylon one, uh, you can just go away. And then I may as well add in this pipe. Let these... Oof. That was close. We'll let these guys all be connected and share water and... Uh, they're gonna pump water into this entryway. Okay, good. 
So now at this point in time, we will not accept water from our outside water source unless that's full. Let's make sure. So we're getting steam. The water is going, it's fluctuating quite a bit. But everywhere in this water loop, we're trying to pump it out. So I think it's fine. Okay, let's go one more road down at the bottom. Mm, we're right about at the steam producing level and that's fine. We're going to store a lot of heat in this structure and not use it right away. And that's perfectly okay. Yeah, why not? That seems pretty reasonable. Then let's go ahead and put in one of these here. Hang on, we actually want to stick this here. And we're going to pump out into there. And I guess we can put one more of these in here. Nope, we can't. This is fine though. More heat storage. It'll all be good and work out in the end. All right. Now let's build a new train station. Um, This is going to be a sh small train station. Yeah, that should do. Mm, do I want to do a full train station? Actually, let's just make a small train station right here and it's going to be very small. No. Yeah, you don't need all of this garbage. We will go ahead and do a, a transition there. Could build out further, but yeah, this is fine. We're just going to make a small train station and really this is only for the volcanic gas. So we're just going to do, let's see, the train's going to come out this way. crossing track ones, the chain signals. <sighs> we got a lot of garbage in our inventory. We'll get it shorted out soon. Um, signals, signals. Yeah. Okay. So 
so this is gonna be just like this Really? We don't have any train stops? What? How is that possible? Okay, let's just go down here. We'll get this sorted out. can go to right there and then we'll pick you up there and we'll get you here okay bada boom okay and then you go right there perfect So let's see, we have no speed modules. Not surprisingly, there's none here. It looks like we haven't really produced any in a while. Why? Sensor one? Output is full. Oh. We have those. So we've got those. We're missing this, which is these guys. These guys are missing what? Capacitors? Where is it? Batteries, what? There's something wrong with that. Let's go fix that real quick. Mm, we'll get there. Well, let's go. That's actually a long ways to walk. So let's take our building train. We're going to have it stop by here. I think it'll be quicker to come by here. I'm going to say until passenger present. Okay. Then we're going to get this um, wired up while we're here. Oh, we missed one. How did that happen? Okay. Should be coming along at a halfway decent rate, hopefully. And we are pumping it into here. All right, let's go see what we've got. Let's take all the train stops. Good. It's going to be disabled until such time that it's ready. So let's just hop in. And this is going to take us... Yeah. It'll take us close enough. We're going to go figure out what's going on because it's obvious we have all the ingredients now. 
We still don't have the production. That is something of a problem. Okay, hop off here. Should have waited for the sidewalk, but that's okay. The sidewalk's kind of a mess now. Oof. So let's start with the one that we know is not working. Which is... This guy is missing sensor 1s. Okay. So sensor 1 should be coming along this line. Everything upgrade, okay. Ah, we're getting much, much faster logistic spots. This is good. They're coming to take all of my garbage away. Good. Now I'm going to take these uh, beacons and we're going to go back to our new spot and well, we're going to take and beacon it. With all of these lovely beacons. Oh, hadn't realized this stuff wasn't upgraded yet. Yeah, let's... Oh, it's just pipes and garbage. Eh, whoops. Jeez. We gotta watch out, man. We're gonna get run over by a train. Don't care about that. Don't think I care about that. That's just bread pipe. That's fine. Okay. So I'm very interested to see how the new one performs compared to the old one. Okay, these guys are starting to produce more modules. Good. And these guys are also producing the yield module. So win-win. Good. Hmm. Spots are almost fast enough to actually catch me when I'm walking. So no doubt we're going to start doing things and someday we need to box all this stuff, but yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want to do that right now. Most of the ingredients in here are boxed currently. Okay. Look at how fast. It's nearly full speed. Missing a belt there, so that's going to take down. Now, we should upgrade this belt to at least here. I'm going to upgrade the last little bit a little bit more. Okay. Look at how fast our plastic is getting eaten up and just everything is going. 
good. How's the rust doing? So rust was one thing we had a shipment of. Now, chlorine, it's kind of full. Hmm. Well, that's okay. It's all right. Looks like our hard glass is good. Our cotton, yeah, everything is looking swimmingly. Um, I'm looking for yellow machines at the very beginning. So we need to upgrade at least to here. Oh, the truth is, is this is fine because we're limited based on the use of this. Well, hang on now. Take this in faster. That won't hurt anything. Okay. We'll upgrade to at least there. Okay. That means we should upgrade on this side as well. This will all be good. Should be able to send out a little bit more here. This factory is really starting to come alive. And that is fantastic. Look at this, we have chips in here now. Wow. So good to see this factory coming along so swimmingly. Um, how about productivity modules? We have a bunch. Let's make sure more of the machines are productivity Especially the productivity modules themselves and stuff like that. Like, these are pretty expensive, yeah. These machines are all green. Let's just keep productivity up everything that we can. Uh, we'll take out all of the modules from the train here. Gotta make sure this stuff is getting productivity. We have so many productivity modules at this point in time, we should just start using them pretty much everywhere. Like all of these guys should have lots of productivities and they have a few. But when we put the productivity modules in here, the productivities were very expensive, very rare. So we didn't put them all the way up the chain. Starting to see a little movement. 
And then down here. Wow. I mean, we're just putting these out by the hundreds. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. I will accept that. Yeah, those heat exchangers should be upgradable. Why aren't they? Do we really not have... I guess we don't have that many heat exchangers. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, um... Sand is coming through a lot more. Good, good, good. Okay. Moving right along. All right. Now let's go visit. Oof. Well, that would have been a good train to hop in. Um, this will take us. Yeah. Good chunk of the way. We're going to go visit our new bases because we're missing a lot of productivity or speed modules in this. What? That is a very weird loop, and I don't fully understand what its deal is. So let's just be clear. Where are we missing the modules? Here we're missing a ton of stuff. Wow. Oops, I should have gone a little bit for... Uh, it was actually going exactly where I needed to go. Darn. Any train coming along here will hop in and it'll take us to the station. Okay. Good. Excited to see all of our modules go. Be delivered. Okay. Slow. Why? Oh, we're missing the textiles. Yeah. We're going to have to keep improving that, I think. Okay, how is this looking? We're still continuing to produce at a decent rate. You know, we're gonna speed beacon some of that. And honestly, we might productivity it. Looks like we got all this done. We have a few more beacons, so let's go place these down. Then now that we've got our beacon problem figured out, I think our uh, train is going to start getting more. Should be good. Oh, there was a few beacons in here, but maybe not. 
I mean, they are here. Okay. So let's go to our new setup. Uh, why is this not working? What are we missing? Fiberglass? What's that missing? Epoxy. Okay. That's a different problem we have been working on. Um, epoxy is missing. ECH. ECH is missing. Is that propane? Probably propane. I guess we're going to have to start shipping in propane too. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So let's see... Getting close and then there's not... ton train-wise from this point. Uh... Yeah, these trains, I mean... There's really only the waste train and the acrylonitrate train that goes. Oh. Yeah. I guess we have the beacons. Let's go put those in. That'll help a little bit, but that's not really our limiting factor. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh, what are we limited on? Propane? Let's go figure this out. New factory's got problems. <sighs> Darn. Should have just taken that train. There's only very few trains that go that way, so... It was probably the wastewater train, which is pumping out. Okay, we do need to keep going down, so let's just head down. It's unlikely we're going to get a train that will take us that direction, but it can't have not been operating for too long because we still are getting wastewater, so I'm very curious as to what's going on here. How does our power look, by the way? I mean, we have a few more panels. It's been a long time since we dropped our power usage on our beacons though, which is a good sign that we have at least sufficient power for our needs for the moment. Okay. So what are we missing here? Hmm. This is always the mystery. Excuse me, I had a nasty sneeze there. Um, okay, you are full of what? Carbon dioxide, and that's fine. You're full of water and carbon monoxide, both. So you have enough carbon monoxide. Okay, this is full of methane. Yeah. I 
We have too much methane. Um, not really a great way to deal with that problem either. Well, we can store it for sure. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. We just do something like this. Do a little something something there. Drop these guys off. Let's go see if there's some machines down at the very end. We're just chipped full and this is getting to be a little annoying. I think I might cut off the methane from um, from our other factory. Okay, this is a minor problem. Come on, bots, fix this. So that'll help a little bit. So this is, wait, hang on. This is the uncompressed methane, and the compressed methane we're actually are storing, so... Jeez. It's so crazy, we're almost full of that. But that'll buy us a little time. Um, do we have a need for more methane here? Or do we just want to start wanting, do we want to burn it? You know, maybe. There's definitely a case for this. So let's say the combustion, propane, benzene, methanol. We could make some methanol and burn that. But we have compressed methane, we have compressed oxygen. That would give us some serious steam too. Okay. I think I'm convinced. We're just gonna put an overflow valve here. And then the steam, yeah, we'll, but we'll have to probably burn quite a bit in times like this. Okay, so let's see, we've got our combustion chamber threes. Haven't used those in a while, wow. Uh, let's go ahead and start down here. So you're gonna be... Is there a like, compressed methanol? Methanol pressurized. So we can do the pressurized methane. So let's do methanol. So we're gonna convert any of this to methanol. And then right here. 
right here. And do we have a need for methanol at the base? Um, maybe. You know, we actually do have a need for it. So rather than ship this out, we're going to save it. We're not going to burn this. That's the wrong oxygen. Uh oh. Okay. Bada boom. Compressed oxygen. Good. So this should see making the methanol. Excellent. So methanol, we're going to ship back. And that is going to help a few of our products that are currently suffering. Okay. Good. Everything's there. Done well. I'm okay with just doing this with the leftover stuff. Then anything that's here, let's see, what line? We could use the top line, that's probably the best. So what we're gonna do is pump in... Let's set this here. Yes, yes, perfect. And then we just need to get you powered. If there's leftovers, then we're going to shoot this down, but not until then. And by shoot it down, I mean combust it. I think methanol is probably better to burn than straight methane anyways. Let's load it in here. Okay. And then just a normal pipe right here. Bam. So we're loading the methanol in. So we need to change your orders. We're going to do inactivity. Fluid count, inactivity, fluid count, and the fluid, of course, is methanol. Well, there's two. The one's the acrylonitrate, like heavy water. That's interesting that we're going to get there. There's only a very few gases that you can actually compress, which is interesting, but I suppose that makes sense. So acrylonitrate is greater than or equal to 80,000. And then this one is going to be methanol. It's greater than or equal to 80,000. Inactivity, uh, fluid count, inactivity, fluid count. I 
I imagine both of them are going to be increased as a result of this. So that's good. Uh, we need methanol equals zero or the ni this acrylonitril. I can't even pronounce this. I'm so sorry to all the... Wait. Oh, we don't have the inactivity. Let's go ahead and go. Good. Could have done this a lot more elegantly, actually, if we had realized what we were going to do from the beginning. Okay, we'll hop out. This guy needs to go to about there. You're not going to have power, and that's okay. I'm okay with this. Can I take this down? No. We'll have to go one past. Okay. This is fine. Hmm. Okay, don't want to do that, so let's go... Okay. So where do we want to put the methanol in place? This is the question. Um, usually we send it along here, the natural, not natural, but our normal setup. So let's, let's assume we're going to do this. the methanol produced uh, it's right here actually good okay Since we have to go down, let's go ahead and go down two and we're going to put a pump in here. Keep it nice and high pressure. Okay, let's go ahead and ship you off and then I want to see this actually in action. Hopefully this will all work quite nicely. Hmm. All right. Is it getting... Okay, we dumped off the methanol and it's already draining. But it's coming out here pretty quickly and that's gonna no doubt help some stuff like our 
Lubricant, which is low. Well, lubricant's low on the ingots. Ingots are low? Why are ingots low? Uh, the ingots are here. They're missing... Psh. They're missing graphite. What? There's no methane? Oh. Well, maybe we do need to send the methane here. Hmm. What to do about that? Because obviously we have lots and lots of graphite. Um, is it time to decommission this? Well, hang on. Let's look at this. We're getting this more organized bit by bit. So we're not sending any methane up here. Um, honestly, we only do that if we have 25k. So we're saying do other things with the methane, but there's sense in that. Where else does the methane get used? So it does get converted into the ethane, but we have plenty of that. And then it's used over here. Had a little bit of wastewater in the system. That never helps stuff. So it's used for the methanol, and then we never connect it to anything else. So interesting. Eventually, this will get restarted, but for simplicity, let's uh, do things just a scooch different. One of those lines is hydrogen. I really want to do the benzene cracking thing, but we just are one tile short. And I guess it's kind of nice to have the burnt benzene. A little bit of extra electricity. Okay, how is this working now that we've given it some go? So these guys are fully operating. Okay. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. So carbon dioxide is somewhat insufficient to say the least. But all of these guys are operating at full capacity. Ugh. What if we do the compressed methane formula? Does the compressed gas actually work better? Gas separation. What is it called? It's just one of the basic run. Okay, air separation pressurized. This is the one. So two seconds will do 100 compressed air. One second will do this. So the compression is what? It is. Four to one. 
So each machine can actually do twice as much work, which makes sense. We have to use way more air separators. Um... Is it time for a radically new design? I mean, that's what we have the methanol for, right? We're producing the methane here. This is totally full. This is... Well, why are you... Carbon dioxide. <gasps> okay, that's another problem. Let's go resolve that one. Oops, I should be going up and not down. So if you didn't catch it, we did not set up anything for the output for our carbon dioxide, which, you know, yeah. The benzene reforming is not happening, so that's going to cause some issues. Our wastewater here. I mean, we're throwing away water. All right. Uh, let's send this train to drop off. And then I'll catch it on its way back. I should have done this earlier, but oh well. Yep, it's probably going to stop. Oh, the wastewater train, though, came by. Good. It is already full. Well, that's an interesting problem. We have two. We're not uh, processing our wastewater. We'll check that one out in a scooch. Carbon dioxide, that's monoxide. Um, carbon dioxide goes in here. All right, let's just take you. I'm going to pump this out here, but we're also going to run this through a small one of these. Okay. Good. So we're always going to be trying to get rid of this. We're lacking hydrogen, huh? And what can we do for the hydrogen? I mean, we probably just need to do some more electrolysis. That's fine. We'll set up another round of those real quick. Let's go right there. Let's build two of them.
I have a feeling we're not going to hit all of these guys. Okay. Uh, the hydrogen needs to go here. And then here. We can actually just directly tie in the oxygen. Why not? And I mean, this is not going to be quite as good in some ways. So, okay. It's fine. It should be a little bit more hydrogen. Let's also connect the waters at the top and... Actually, we should connect all of the oxygens through the bottom. Through the top as well. Okay. All of the water can flow around good. So let's connect these hydrogens up. Now we want this on the intake side, so it's going to be here. So now we actually have a feedback loop, so we do need to destroy these connections as quickly as we can. Okay. Good, good, good. Now this water is getting lower, which is fine. Are these guys, what are you limited on? Your wastewater, bleh. Um. Well, hang on. I don't think that's actually connected up to the wastewater. Oh my. Okay. Good, good, good. And this is showing up some red, which will be improved when we have the beacons on our wells. Yay! Okay, let's send the building train here, please. Let's come down to like right there. And we're gonna see until full cargo. Okay. So the water is increasing good. And it's increasing from stuff at the bottom. Nice! Or is it increasing through this? Could be increasing through that one, actually. Um... This is strictly a pump out. Yeah, now we're really decreasing the water. Okay, that's good. We probably have a feedback loop, though. That's usually what happens when we have this much. Um, so we need to set a pump at the top as well. And then let's go get our train after that. 
That one's okay. This one, though. We're gonna put a pump right there. Actually, let's go ahead and put a pump here. It's trying to keep the networks distinct. Okay, there's no water in there now. Good. So let's go pick up our electrolyzers and speed beacons should be available now because we fixed that problem wait it's not here yet oh no 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 i need you here please till passenger present whoops it is is these things happen, all right. Just looking. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need a lot more hydrogen somehow. Gosh. We're getting into the, a very large complex web to produce all of this stuff. Here comes the building train. This time it should remain until we hop on board, which we're not going to. Oh dear. Um, well, that was silly. So we're going to take all of those. We're going to take um, what was it that we needed? Yep, that's why we always need to check for the building train stuff. The electrolyzers. Yes, yes, yes. Got another spot, yeah. This'll do. Oh wait. Forgot to clear that stuff. Alright. It's fine. So let's keep going up here. So this is where we want our efforts concentrated. The more water would be good. Um, it is actual water saturation though. Wait. got this pipe control. Let's pump this into here. It's not really going to pump in, but we'll put the same condition that we have on here. Okay. So now these should be going. Good. Mm, we got it. Respectable amount of compressed hydrogen. Um, I just don't know how quickly it's filling up. That's fine. Look at these. This, we're getting further and further down every iteration. Good. 
that's the ethane breaking up. This compressed hydrogen is going down about halfway. Yeah, the carbon monoxide is still a bit of an issue. All right. So the question is, is can we pull more? I think we can. I want to just double check to make sure that these guys are filling up on, yep, fresh water. So the water is the issue. It's based off of this. So let's see, can the electrolyzers, yep, they can. Hang on, let's make this a little bit better. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna connect this, just it's silly, but just trust me on this, okay. Yeah, this'll be fine. So we're gonna get Two connection points. Okay. Good. Man, we're getting so many of these electrolyzers. It is nuts. Okay. I'm going to put another one just in case we decide to chain this up even more. Yeah, we can already see those things are starting to move. We are out of electrolyzers. But we've at least got all the plumbing going. Good. And we're finally getting a good amount of hydrogen, compressed hydrogen. So hopefully that means that it is not the limiting factor. And in fact, the limiting factor is now carbon dioxide. And the limiting factor of that is the air, really. Well, we'll figure that out next time. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. I appreciate everything you do. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.